Go on in, need to grab one of these mini bands. So welcome on Facebook. So do this uh, Boga says you need a mini band, but if you haven't got one, don't worry, you can still do it without. You all right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so voice out, anybody got any injuries I need to know about? Good, that's all live. Excellent. Anybody not done this before? Okay, so there might just a few of the um, floor exercises you might struggle with, but I'll give you an alternative. So I'll explain it as we go along. We are we'll obviously start our warm up first, um, and we'll do our uh, most of the bog standard warm up we do anyway. You need to get a bit of blood flowing and warmed up before we can do all these mobility and stretch exercises. Anybody need a mat? I bought a couple just in case. <laughs> Probably going to get blown away anyway. Okay, so let's just start this, uh, just uh, do jumpy jacks. So nice and easy, it's kind of a progressive warm up. Good, and next you're gonna be doing heel flicks, so running on the spot. Just lean forward slightly, flick the heels up. Good. Some of these warm-up moves are the same we use in the actual session, so it's quite good uh, just to get you used to it as we do the warm-up. It won't be too new when we start the actual session. Okay, change the knee raises, just halfway up. Okay, next one, you're going to reverse lunge and reach up. So step backwards on the right, reach up with the right arm. So reach up. Push the hips through, just stretch out for your hip flexors. This is one we do in the actual session. So drop the knee, reach up, so as long as possible on one side. Reach up nice and high, push the hips through. Good, then the next mobility move, we're gonna squat and twist. So feet shoulder width apart, push the hands out, squat, twist to both sides, and then squat again. So when you twist, go right, left, and then next time, left, right. Then our next move is in a press up position, then our step and reach. Again, this is one we do in the actual session. So hold the press up position, right foot to right hand, right hand away. Big reach up. Left foot to left hand, left hand away. Look at the hand at the top of the stretch. Big reach up. Then when you step, push the hips into the floor and then reach, look at the hand at the top of the move. Good, and back to jumping jacks. This time I was going to front side, front side. So it's just a little bit quicker than the last time. Side, front. And go back to our heel flicks. Again, three quarters of the way up this time. Good, just lean forward slightly, flick the heels up.
And I do knee raises, again, three quarters of the way up this time. Just nice and lightly on the balls of the feet. Easy jog. Good, then the next move, you're gonna forward lunge, twist over your front leg. So if you step on the left, you twist to the left. So here you go, so step, twist, back to the middle, stand up. Step, twist, back to the middle, stand up. So it's kind of four moves, step, Twist, twist, stand up. Good, this time, nice wide stance, squat and reach over the top. Big deep squat, reach over the top. Big reach over. Good, then the next one, back into the press up position. So stretch out the abs. So drop the hips and then lift the hips, push the heels back into the floor. Do a press up, drop the hips, lift the hips. Then we're trying to push the heels back into the floor. Press up. Okay, so standing up, doing our leg swings. So point the toes and twist across. So opposite hand across the opposite shin. So stretching out the hamstrings and again, doing this with this upper body rotation. Good, next time you're gonna walk out into a press up, so stiff legs, walk out, press up, bend the knees, walk back, reach. So walk out, press up, bend the knees on the way back in, Big reach and walk back out. So straight legs on the way out, bend the knees on the way back up. Good, and big arm circles to the front. And backwards. Stretch out the chest. And steady there, we're pretty much good to go. Okay, so we have seven moves to do. And we do the whole thing three times. You work for a minute on each of the moves, rest for 30 seconds while I quickly explain the next one. Okay, so our first one, you can do this one with or without the band. So obviously on this we do mobility and stretch and some of it's a bit of strength work. So when we do the press-ups, you don't need to do the press-ups. And again, when we use this band for this one particularly, you don't need to use the band. It puts loads of work through your shoulders. But if that's what you want to do as well as the stretching, that's great. Band there. Thank you. Good, so on this first one, if you're going to use the band, you just put the band around the wrists. Pull the band to shoulder width apart and try and hold it there. So we're going to do that same thing where you reverse lunge and reach. Breathe out twice. Stand up, switch sides. So the bottom of this move, you're trying to push your hips through to stretch out your hip flexors. Try and keep the knee off the floor so you're also working your legs, okay? So let's go. So reverse lunge, reach up. 
breathe twice. And then switch legs. If you can, keep the bag shoulder width apart for, for, the, for the whole minute. Remember to push the hips through. And back, all under control. If you need to, put the knee down. If you can't get low enough, put the knee down and push the hips through. So the main part of this at work of this bit is this hip flexor stretch. It's really important. So if you're not getting this hips flexor stretch, don't bother with the bands. Really concentrate on this. Put the knee down, push the hips through. If you are getting a stretch, do all the other things as well. So use the band, keep the knee off the floor if you can. And rest there. So the next one we don't need the band. Oh sorry, we do need the band. <laughs> so this time put the band around your feet, nice and high on the laces. Now make the band broad so it won't snap. If you make it narrow, it will snap. So broad band. Okay, so we're gonna do squat and then march six times. Let's go. When you do the march, drive the knees up and bring the foot forward. Don't leave the foot underneath. Bring the foot forward. So don't leave the foot here, bring it forward. Six marches, big deep squat. Okay, we do the squat just to relieve the tension in your hips. So if you try to do this for a minute, you wouldn't get very far. Okay, so that just relieves the stress through here as you're marching up, working those thighs. Big squat. Now it's a good, deliberate move. Don't try and force it. Bring the knee up. Trying to get the knees, thighs, uh, thighs parallel to the deck. Good deep squat. And again, march. Make sure you bring the knee out to the front and bring the foot forward. And rest. Okay, so next one, as we did in the, uh, the warm up, it's that press up position, step and reach. But what we want to do this time is step, push the hips into the floor, breathe out, reach up, and breathe out twice. Come back in, press up if you want to, step, push the hips into the floor, look up. Exhale, press up, and change. Okay, so let's go. So step, push the hips into the floor, reach. Yeah, and exhale once or twice, back in. Optional press up, and reach. So remember, right foot to right hand, right hand away. Big reach up, right foot to right hand, right hand away, back in, press up, left foot to left hand, left hand away. That's it. So maybe there's two stretches here, the step, stretching out through the hips and the groin, and the reach, stretching out through the upper body, the chest and the shoulders. And rest there. Okay, this time put the band around the ankles. Okay, so this time you do your march up, this time you're going to kick to the sides. Try and keep the feet shoulder width apart. So this time you're going to squat, kick out six times. Just the shoulder width apart. Let's go. Does that have to be too wide? Don't go too wide, otherwise you end up leaning over. Shoulder width apart. So just to here, so you stay upright and you're actually working the band. You don't have to go too far. Nice deep squat. Try and keep these feet shoulder width apart. All under control. Don't try and rush. You should be feeling it already, working here. So we work here, and then next we stretch here, okay? So 
So six kicks. Remember, you're kicking from the hip, so we're working the outside here. Try and stay upright. Helps to keep your hands on the hips. Just engage your abs, so you're strong through the middle, so it helps with your balance. And kick. And rest. So like I said, we work this bit, we want to stretch this bit next. So in a press-up position, just bring the knee out to 90 degrees. Lower your body weight on top of this hip, so you should feel it stretch. Exhale twice, then up, press up, and again. So just to 90 degrees, don't bring this knee up too high. We want to work the hips or stretch the hips, not the glutes. So up, change, 90 degrees with the knee, drop the hips down. You should, if you get this right, you should feel a really good stretch on the hips here. So you just need to mess around with your body position, move up and down, lower it, lift it. So leg out to 90 degrees. Where your lower leg goes, doesn't matter, whichever's comfortable, if it's out straight or down. The important bit is this hip stretch. So use your own body weight, lower it down. Like I said, you just need to mess around with your body position to get the sweet spot. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you almost get it, sometimes you really get it right. Good, two big breaths out, and then swap. And rest there. Good, so again, mini band around the ankles. Okay, and this time you're gonna kick backwards from the hips. Okay, so again, you don't have to go too far. Make sure your legs are straight and you're kicking from the hips. You're trying to kick backwards. So this side's gonna really hit your glutes. So again, one squat, six kicks. If you wanna make it a bit more challenging, do one squat, six kicks on one side. One squat and then change sides. So make sure you're kicking back. You should feel this work through your glutes, through your backside. And again, try and stay upright. Try not to lean forward too much. Nice deep squat. Keep the feet shoulder width apart. Touch the floor at the front. And scrape back. It's almost as if you're scraping the floor with your foot. So scrape it back, kick back. So you're working from the hips, working the glutes. Nice deep squat in between just to relieve the stress, the tension. And rest there. Okay, so again, we've worked the glutes. This time we're going to stretch that out by doing that pigeon pose. So same as our hip stretch, but this time bring the knee right underneath the chest. So from here, knee all the way up, then lower yourself down, breathe out twice, come back up, optional press up, then in. So this time, knee right underneath the chest, and the th thigh should be nearly flat on the floor. If you're very flexible, you should be able to get your thigh flat on the floor. If you're not, it's about that. So in, press up. Bring the knee underneath the chest, lower the chest. And again, this time you should be feeling this in the glutes, not on the hips, in the glutes. So bring the knee up nice and high. It helps to fully extend your back leg. And sink nice and low. When you get a hang of this, you can actually stay more upright and sink back. But to start with, to get it to lie down, you get the stretch. If you want to extend the stretch, you can sit up and sink real back, really uh, deep into it. So make sure there's no discomfort in your knee. If there is, you need to bring the foot out a little bit wider. If you keep it cramped underneath, it can be a bit uncomfortable. And rest there. There we go. One down, two more to go. 
Easy. <laughs> Good. So this one I do three times just to get you familiar with it on the first one. Get it right on the second one. Perfect it on the third one. <laughs> Good. So just take a minute and we'll go around again. Okay, so we're back to our first one, our reverse lunge and reach. Okay, if you're not using a mini band, just use one arm, reach up. And if you really want to uh, exaggerate the stretch in your hips, put the knee down, reach up and back with the hand, push the hips through. Okay, otherwise do all three things. We're doing mobility, stretch, and a bit of strength with everything else. So let's go. Hand shoulder width apart if you're using a band, reach up, exhale twice. You want to get your knee as close to the floor as you can if you're hovering. If you're putting your knee down, that's fine. Just remember to lean back, push the hips through. Big, two big exhales. So really stretching out through these hip flexors. Again, try and keep the feet shoulder width apart. Try and keep your feet aligned so everything's pointing in the right direction, as in that way. And relax there. Just shake the legs out. Okay, and this time, band around the feet. Remember, nice and high on the laces and keep the band broad. So I'm running this one, six marches, one squat. If you want to make it more challenging, do eight or 10 marches, one squat. There you go, so squat and march. Bring the foot forward. That's good. So it's really important to bring the foot forward instead of leaving it underneath, bring the foot through. So you're actually working against the resistance of the band. Drive that knee up, trying to get the thighs parallel to the floor. Bring the foot through so you are working against the band. Perks of working in a park, so we always get visits from dogs. <laughs> oh, I thought Gilbert was coming back then. <laughs> He's coming back for more. <laughs> and rest. Okay, so our next one into a press-up position, step and reach. Remember, big exhale at both moves when you push the hips into the floor to stretch out through the groin and the hips. And then you reach up to stretch out through the chest and the shoulders. So big step, breathe out, big reach, breathe out. This time, really emphasize the stretches. Again, our optional press up, big reach, and exhale. So remember, step, push the hips into the floor, reach, look at the hand to stretch out through the upper body. And again, take your time for all the moves. You don't have to race through these. The emphasis is on the stretch or stretches, because they all have multiple stretches in. <sighs> I 
and rest. Okay, so this time band back around the ankles, this time we're stepping or kicking out to the sides. So as before, you do six, or if you want to make it more challenging, eight or ten side kicks, or if you want to make it really challenging, six on one side, six, eight or ten on one side, then your squat. So let's go. So you try it on one side. If you do try it on one side, you quickly realize where it's supposed to work. So you try and alternate if you don't want to overload that one side. If you do want a bit more overload, do it on one side, squat, then change. Nice deep squat in between. So okay, so work in here, we're gonna stretch here next. And rest. So our next one is in a press-up position, doing our hip stretch. Remember this time, knee to 90 degrees, lower your body weight down. So good strong press up position, knee out to 90 degrees and then lower your body weight on top of that hip. And as I said before, just mess around with your body position. So move it forwards, backwards, sideways. Just find that sweet spot. Then exhale twice. And back up. So leg to 90 degrees, not too high. Sometimes you get it spot on, sometimes you have to shuffle around a little bit. Once you've got the stretch, exhale twice. Up, change. That's good. Big stretch for those hips. Good, and back on the mini bands. This time I'm doing our kick back, so now we're gonna work the glutes and then stretch them afterwards. Good, so again, keep the bands nice and broad. And again, same as on the side kicks, you can kick back on one leg or keep switching legs. Maybe you're trying to scrape the foot along the floor, kicking back from the hips to work the glutes. So try not to bend the knee. So the legs should be straight but not locked out completely, okay? So off lock. Nice deep squat. And then kick back. So again, I've do one side if you want to get more of an overload to make it a little bit more challenging. Or keep switching sides so you don't overload. Try and keep the feet shoulder width apart. And try and stay upright as much as possible. Same as all these, engage your abs. That just means squeeze your stomach muscles. Just helps with your balance. And rest. So back into our racing pigeon pose. Like the pigeon pose, just quicker. You like that, don't you? Okay, so again, back into a press-up position, knee nice and high underneath the chest, lower the chest down, big stretch in the glutes on the bent leg side, exhale twice, and back up, switch sides. So 
So as you get more confident with this, you can stay up and sink, really sink into this to extend the stretch. Or the other way is lie down and then walk the hands away from the stretch. So for you three, this one's ideal. After those, or two, after those hill sprints this morning. <laughs> and rest there, great work. Just rest for a minute, grab some water if you got it or want it. There we go, round once more. Finding most of those all right? Yeah, generally. Anything's quite new, it's quite awkward, it feels a bit. Yeah, so having done nothing since June, which doesn't really sort of help. <laughs> there you go. This is exactly what I've been looking for for a long time. Brilliant. I'm Italian, and so I tell from the school that when you're doing PE, you're not doing sports. Yeah. You're doing calisthenics. Yeah. Twice a week for a full hour. And I've not found the UK ever since I come here. Oh, really? So this is basically, we've pinched loads of other people's ideas. So it's yeah. a bit of yoga, a bit of Pilates, a bit of strength, a bit of stretching, yeah, and made it our own little thing. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. Did you used to do the British handball? Yeah, yeah. 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 Well, I know, they kind of crashed and burned, which was a shame. Oh, okay. But not really. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're back to our reach and stretch with or without the mini bands. Okay, and stepping backwards, big reach up, push the hips through, exhale twice. So now you're getting the hang of these, try the harder versions if you can, to keep the knee off the floor, push the hips through, lean back, and really work hard at keeping these bands apart. Obviously, the further you pull them apart, the more tension it puts through your shoulders. Because a lot of these stretches and moves are really leg dominant. So this just puts a bit of work through the shoulders. That's also why we do the press up. So it just balances out a little bit, not quite. So maybe the most important bit is here, the hip flexors. Push the hips through. And rest there. So bands around the feet. And remember into our marches, six, eight or 10 marches. Make sure you alternate on these though. Don't do it all on one side. Good, so we squat. And then march, bring the foot forward. Again, bring the foot forwards, don't leave it underneath. Again, all under control. Good, strong moves. Bring that knee straight through. So you're trying to keep everything aligned. So when your knee comes forward, everything's still in line. Don't let your knees go out or across. Okay, straight up, straight up. Big squats in between. And rest. 
So back into our press up position, step and reach. Now push the hips into the floor, reach up nice and high with the hands at the top. So right foot to right hand, push the hips into the floor. Exhale, big reach. Exhale. Yeah, take your time, hold each move, get those big stretches. Get a step. Push the hips down, reach up. Make sure you look at the hand at the top of the stretch. So all we're doing now, when you step, reach, you're just keeping everything in line. And rest there. Good, so next time, back mini bands around the ankles. So again, kicking out. Again, if you want to make it more challenging, do all your kicks on one side. Otherwise, do it alternate. Squats in between. Six or eight. Nice deep squat. Trying to stay upright as much as possible. This is my way we're working the core as well. Remember when you come to the squat, make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. Don't let them come in too narrow. So always trying to do your squats correct. Feet and knees aligned in between the kicks. About now you should be really feeling this one on the outside of here. And rest. So we're going to work the hips. This time stretch out the hips into that press up position. Facing a knee out to 90 degrees. Okay, it doesn't matter where your lower leg, lower limb goes. Just put your body weight on top of this hip. Two big exhales, so you know you're holding it for long enough. So just depending on how your flexibility, just depends how low you can get from here to this position. I remember when I first started this, I was about here. <laughs> so now I could get really low. It just takes a while. And rest there. Got two left. So again, band back around the ankles. Good, so remember this time we're kicking back from the hips to work the glutes. Again, alternate, or if you want to overload more, do it all on one side, then squat. So kick back.
Good, so try not to bend the knees. So you're really hitting the glutes, the straighter the leg, the more work you're gonna put through your backside. Your engine, so for all your running and exercising, this bit's really important. That's why we're gonna work it and then stretch it. Scraping that foot along the floor, kick back, and then squat. Six, eight or 10. And again, try and kick back straight. Okay, try not to let the foot come across because then you lose the tension. Just kick back straight, keeping the feet shoulder width apart. And rest. Good, then our last one, our racing pigeon pose. Back into the press up position, knee all the way underneath the chest. And again, lower your body weight on top, either lie down, or if you know how, just sink back into it. Two exhales, and then come up. Switch sides. Be back, but don't forget to fully extend this back leg, and we'll get a better stretch. That's good. Big sink back or lie down. Great stretch through the glutes. And rest there. Good, so we've done all that workout. We just want to do a couple of stretches just to finish it off because we've obviously worked some different muscles. There's only two to do really because we've stretched out all the other ones. So just to a normal hamstring stretch. So half a step forward, all the way on the bent leg. Make sure this front leg's locked out and both feet are flat on the floor. Then sink back and then lower the chest down. It's going to hold these for about 30 seconds. You should have a nice big stretch through your hamstrings here on the back of the thighs. Good. So I want to extend this stretch by pushing the front foot into the floor and try and gently lift the hips. So keep pushing the front foot into the floor, gently lift the hips in the same line as the leg. You should feel this hamstring lengthen. Do this really gently. It's a great stretch. Just do it gently. And step it up through the other side. Good. So front leg locked out. Both feet flat on the floor, sink back first, then lower the chest down to feel it tighten up. Don't forget, you always feel your stretches are more on one side than the other. So if you're right-handed, you tend to be more dominant on your right side, so more muscular and less flexible on your right-hand side. And again, force that front foot into the floor. Gently lift the hips. And step it through. And the last one to do your quad stretch. Grab hold of the shoe. Bring the knees together. Gently push the hips through and push the foot into the hand at the same time. So gently push the hips through, gently push the foot into the hand. If you need help with your balance, just stare at something a few feet in front of you on the ground so it stops your horizon moving. Uh, 
uh, do the same on the other side. Okay, grab the foot, bring the knees together, gently push the hips forward, push the foot into the hand at the same time. So what we're doing, you push the foot into the hand, it just means you get a bigger stretch all the way through your quads rather than just at the top. So keep pushing the foot into the hand, keep pushing the hips forwards for a bigger, deeper stretch. And relax there. Great work this afternoon, folks. Well done. Hoof and effort. Hope you feel a bit more flexible, more mobile. <laughs> Just stick those there. Good work on Facebook, and we'll see you soon.